Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the bays, Necrot, Blood Offerings on Tank Crimes Records. So fucking sick. If you've yet to hear this bad boy, you're missing out. One of the best death metal records of 2017. And if you're a fan of Blood Offerings, I highly suggest also checking out The Labyrinth, which is a comp of their first two demos. It's amazing stuff, and uh, if you ever get a chance to see Necrot live, yeah, one of the best bands playing live in death metal today. First off, they just fucking kill it. Second off, Luca and company will have you banging your head into fucking oblivion. So good live and just amazing on record. And I have to thank Caligari straight up for sending this bad boy over. This is um, the new EP from Sallow Moth, Death Spore. And this is five tracks of one man death metal by Gary Brent with an amazing art piece on the cover by Jan Moon. But aside from that, everything is the workings of Gary. Sick guy. And all proceeds from this release go towards like, um, I forget what environmental agency or whatever it is. I'm not sure if you if the Caligari ones go there or not, but it, it's whatever. But this is not only an amazing, amazing piece of death metal, it's also an amazing piece of strange fiction. And if I'm to go into that part of this release, I'm going to have to read a little bit off the Bandcamp page. Because I'm not going to spoil the fucking concept behind this record and the EP before it, which I have never heard. But now, after finding out the actual concept behind Salomoth, I'm very, very interested because it's fucking cool as shit. And I really, really love originality and death metal. And, like, musically, like, it's even original sounding. Like, there's parts on here that are catchy. There's parts on here that are technical. And then there's just parts that are just straight up disgusting sounding. And just fucking awesome. And that's everything I want out of a death metal record. And this EP just seriously fucking kills it. These five tracks really have you wanting more. And now I just want more of the fucking story. After I know what this is all about. And look. I am not going to get into, you know, the basis of Sallow Moth and the Death Spore release. I'm going to put the link below and let you guys read all this because it's actually a lot. But um, I just want to read to you the last paragraph here because it does a good job of summing up everything. But here we go. So, an alliance was formed between the leaders of humanity and the Moth Lords. When they realized the chaos could not be contained by either side, a new creature was born from this union, the Sallow Moth. Even more humanoid than its ancestors, but with great power and potential, then the sum of its parts, it was created from both arcane magic and human technology, designed to infiltrate the Moss Deceptia quietly and eventually restore balance to the spore-infected world. As this story unfolds, each release will correspond to this foundation of a theme. So, with that just little, that tiny little paragraph in mind, keep in your mind how much thought was put behind this release. And with tracks like Death Scent, The Control and Remand, Primal Command, Privilege or Misery, parentheses, Fate Sealer, 
emerald dust in the crevices and orifices of man, the manamorphous, and flight of the moth lord eclipse. Fuck yeah, Gary, dude. Holy shit. What a well thought out slab of death. With a pretty much pure disgust for humanity, these five tracks just seriously, wow. I, I was just drawn in almost immediately by first off, just like how heavy this album is. And like I said, secondly, the lyrics, I was reading them, I was like, wow, these are really, really like well written and shit. Not until the stench of flesh you grieve for a moment, loaning a false sense of compassion between four walls, the stench grows on you. Just sick shit, like, from the mind of a fucking awesome dude, like, I can't believe this is a one man, like, project. And, like, the whole story behind this EP, like, wow! I can't wait to hear a full length from Sallow Moth. Like, just the whole entire thing about these moth lords and humanity's extinction and, like, us getting together to create this, like, other form of, like, you know, intelligence and shit. It's fucking out there when it comes to the realms of, like, what I like to call a thinking man's death metal. Like, bands like Cathelus. Blood Incantation, even like Demi Lich, like, you know, like, just with those song titles alone, and like, it, it's just like, wow, like, you know, you guys put a lot of fucking thought into this shit, and here, like, I really love the dabblings and strange fiction and stuff, like, you know, where most bands will take these Lovecraftian aspects, Gary Brent just fucking took it into his own hands and created something that's, you know, both otherworldly yet familiar. And that's what makes these five tracks so fucking kick-ass, is that it's rooted in death metal, but at the same time that, like, science fiction elements also are prevalent throughout this release. And that's bad fucking ass. Because, like, I hear parts on here that sound like Demi Lich. I hear parts on here that just straight up sound like crushing, hate-filled death metal. And you know what? It's like equal parts of everything. But you really need to read the basis upon what all this is based around. Because it's fucking so cool and so original that, you know, my words can't describe it as well as, you know, Gary does on the write-up on his Bandcamp page. So, I highly recommend these fucking tracks of pure death, and then I highly recommend the story that goes behind this release. This right here is totally an essential listen for those of you that are out there looking for some weird, weird death metal that's not, you know, your typical gore-ridden, cemetery-stealing, you know, ritualistic death metal. Right here is something special. It's something that you don't hear every day, and that's what makes it so fucking rad. And also, the riffs are amazing, and so are the vocals. But the story that this man has conjured up in his head is amazing to me. And this release right here on Caligari Records is just... Also, amazing. Death Spore by Sal Moth? Fuck yeah. If you've yet to hear this yet, I'll put the Bandcamp links below. The proceeds go to an environmental agency and stuff. It's fucking badass. Like, total hippie based, strange fiction, human hating death metal. That's the best way I can describe this. And it fucking rolls. And. That's all I can really say about it without you hearing it for yourself. Because I can just talk about the concept all day and how fucking sick and original it is. Because instead of, you know, taking like, oh, like, 
oh yeah, Cthulhu or like Moloch or any one of the ancient ones. Salamoth is its own fucking beast. And I think it's sick, you know? And like I said, the concept behind Death Spore is one of a kind. And Salamoth alone is just a project that, you know, I really, really can't wait to hear a full length out of. Because, like I said, this is one of those projects that are up there with, like, Blood Incantation and, like, Cthulhuus when it comes to getting kind of a concept and just working around it to the point of where it becomes, like, something special and outside of the box. And that's what this is. This is, like, a thinking man's death metal record, but also, at the same time, it has parts that are equal, caveman-esque, knuckle-dragging death. Parts that go into technical, like, Demi-Lich-inspired parts. And then it's just a badass death metal record. That's all I have to fucking say about it. But when it comes to the strange fiction that surrounds this release, I highly suggest getting into it because Sallow Moth, yeah. Death Spore is one of the coolest releases you're going to hear this year. Especially if you have the story behind it, and if you have the lyric book next to you while you listen to it, and know the story ahead of time, because, yeah, it's just something that stands out from the rest of the bunch big time. So, yeah, get into Sallow Moth. Hail's Gary Brent's man, fucking A, and Hail Caligari Records for putting out this bad boy. It's available on tape and CD, and yeah, it sounds fucking great on CD, by the way. Caligari did a great job. I really dig the cosmetics. Just simple and amazing artwork. Just killer, killer stuff. So, yeah, if you're a fan of strange fiction and death metal, this has your name written all over it. Sallow Moth Death Spore, and I'll leave a link to the entire story below but we've been blasting necrot blood offerings on tank crimes records again if you're a fan of death metal just you need to get this in your life blood offerings so fucking sick and you have members of mortuous vastum yeah that's phallix it's killer fucking shit right here Necrot, Blood Offerings, and yeah. Sallow Moth, Death Spore EP. I'm going to give this fucking 9 out of 10 for originality alone. The music is just fucking just as sick and deserves that score as well. But yeah, get into this Death Spore by Sallow Moth on Caligari Records. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching as always. Peace. <laughs>